What's up guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to walk you guys through how we can actually use NodeMailer to send templates which means we can send something that has a way much looking feel than the one we currently work in such as just a simple text. In order to proceed to this video you need to at least watch the first number one video I did about NodeMailer. If you do not there is a link above and also into the description below. We're not going to focus on every single setup. We're going to focus on the main aspect of configuring the templates so all of you guys can kind of follow along. Well, without any further ado, let's get our hands dirty. All right, from the last video, we were successfully able to bring NodeMailer in our step number one, configure our transporter, and step number two, configure our mail option, and step number three, we were successfully able to configure our transporter. Well, in order to configure any template, first we need to have a template. In this one, I'm going to go ahead and add all my template inside a folder called view and inside my view template i'm going to create my template here now in this particular case i'm going to use handlebar to configure my template if you guys don't know how to work with handlebar it is technically html feel free to code just html inside of it but it is way more powerful than just typically html but we're not going to go into express handlebar in this scenario um, i'm going to just use the html straight inside handlebar just in case you guys are curious i do have a video about express handlebar here on the top right corner definitely check it out but again we're not going to use expressing the bot to its full capacity we're just going to go with all html just for you guys to follow along and inside this template i'm only going to add the word hello world and we should be ready at least to have our template here defined as this all right, so once again, guys, we create a folder called view and we create a file called index.endable. Once we have that out of the way, the only thing we need to do is go back over server.js. And once you go back here, we're going to need to install a package called NodeMailer Express that handlebars and we're going to save this one as a dependency once again we need this package in order to configure our template with NodeMailer once you have this package installed I'm going to go here and bring that package here and store it into a variable called HBS and once I have that I'm going to go here and now bring that package here which is Node Express handlebar and once I have this package now be really mindful this package need to be configured with the transporter okay this is very very important so here's our transporter we're going to use transporter and we're going to do transporter that used to configure that package and here we're going to do pass it to parameter the first parameter here we need to pass is something called compiler this is not something that i come up with this is actually what the transporter is actually expecting you to pass in order to compile this for you once you give it this thing called compile the next thing we need to give it is actually call this function here from handlebar we're going to call it as a function here and there we go we call it here and now there's one last thing we need to do after we invoke our function is to pass it an object and this object is what's going to contain further configurations such as where all our templates are located and so on and different other things first thing we need to do is define a property here called view engine and we're going to pass it the engine that we're currently using in this case we're actually using the express handlebar engine so we're going to go ahead and pass it express that handlebar engine here second thing we need to pass is the view path and this one is technically going to be saying all right where are all your templates are located in my case all my template are located inside a folder called view so this is technically my path to give it i just do that slash in the name of the folder where all my template are located once you have that out of the way the configuration to configure express in the ball with your transporter is now complete in order to use a template now we need to go over wherever we have step number two in step number two we're going to actually add an extra key called template in this one it is a way to specify which template that you guys would like to to use in our particular case maybe we had a hundred templates here and we can particularly select one of them let's say we wanted to use the index one all we need to do in this case is just tap the name of the template without the that extension and there you go ladies and gentlemen we have successfully configured our template including the transpiler that is coming in and all we need to do now is run our application and boom image was successfully sent and if we go back to our email and there you go ladies and gentlemen i now have hello world that is coming from my template here but you might be wondering okay so i thought the goal was for you to make it look good well it sounds like at least it's not the same uh, but can we at least add some style maybe some css to it well the question is yes we can 
And in order to do that, we can head over back wherever we have our template. And inside our template here, right after the title, we can add a style here. And after the style, we can actually start styling our template here. For this one, I'm gonna add something, say, welcome to my app. And after that, I'm gonna actually add an LI list that has orange, pineapple, mango, and so on. But what I really want to do is I want to focus on the H1 one tag because I'd like to style this one for it to change color. So let's say in this one, I'd like to change it for it to be the color is equal to red. So ladies and gentlemen, again, I go back to my index that handlebar and I open that tag to start styling my HTML element and I can go as crazy as you guys probably think of. And all I need to do now is run my application. And there you go, email sent. And if I go back to my email, and now I got a new email. And now if I go here, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen, at least my H1 tag is now style, my LI tag is indented, and there you go, my picture is included. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we send template using Node Mailer and Node.js included Express Handleball. Okay, great. Now that we are sending email, styling, and doing all this cool stuff, but you might be okay, Sterling. Is this something that we should take to production? Well, the, the answer is no. You should never use Gmail as your production thing to handle all this case for you. What you really want to do is use some other services, SendGrid, or Mailgun in order for you to deploy a production application. And the cool thing about these two services for you is they're going to also monitor every single email that was successfully able to send and every single email that we're not successfully able to send. And you can easily configure them inside Node Mailer to be able to send email to the user, whichever platform that they're using. Well, believe it or not, in the next video, we're gonna be actually walking you guys through how to use Mailgun to send email using Node.js.